my earthlings i'm Elle, and welcome back to just Ironic. as you may have seen by the title of this video today i'll be giving you a few tips on how to get books for free or for dirt cheap while saving the planet so my first tip is to actually buy from your local thrift store not only will this help your local economy but it will also help you give books another life. What I mean by this is that usually books are just kind of read and they're thrown away or they're just kept in a corner. But if you actually go and donate your books and buy books from a thrift store, it makes the circular economy of reusing books at an endless pace. So you give and you take, you give and you take. And that way there will always be a continuous use for the products and it'll never go to the garbage. And that way, all those trees and all those resources used to make those books will not go to vain. And usually books in thrift stores are about 50 cents to a dollar. It just depends on your local thrift store. But in my case, the one that's near my house, usually they sell books for about 50 cents. And so usually you come away with about like two, three books and that's amazing if it just cost me like a dollar and the great thing about this option is that you never know what you're going to find which is a crazy adventure to think about because you don't know what you're gonna get and instead of going to barnes and nobles and getting a cookie cutter book option of the most trendy authors instead while well, you, when you go to the thrift store you'll find things that are old and used and kind of worn in and hopefully that can inspire you to see different perspectives and different authors and different types of shopping in general because saving the planet can really come down to how you shop for everything and books can just be the start for that. So my second tip is to visit your local community college's library. It doesn't matter if you're a student there and it doesn't matter if you have never been to the library. As long as you have that idea in your mind, you can go to your local community college and look for the library and see if they have a free section for the books that they no longer want. I've noticed that in a lot of the colleges that I visited, like they have a section where they no longer want certain books and so they put it in a certain corner and they're for free and they're just willing to give it to anyone they don't ask any questions they don't you know vet you for anything they just have them in that corner you can just take them um i went to my local community college during the summer and they didn't know who i was i was officially a student but i do notice that they are receptive and having people visit the college and so if you're curious about this free option visit your local community college when it's safe to do so and ask if there's any free books that they have that they no longer want so my third tip i think is the most obvious one which is to get a local library card which is something that i think everyone mostly does to get free books but if you haven't tried this option i highly recommend it you can get really unlimited amounts of books from your library it's there for you to you know have a space to read and the great thing about libraries is that they actually have now more options for online books and so if you're not big on actually getting physical books you can always check out online books if they have that option just make sure to ask if they do have that option i think it's an amazing way to help prevent more books from being published in paper because that does create a lot of you know environmental waste because of the trees and because of the resources and so if you can go with virtual kindle books or virtual books in itself i think that's highly environmentally friendly and also free and good for you because you have endless amount of books at, on your in your hands now my fourth tip is to actually host or go to a book swap i love this option because you can literally be in community while exchanging books as part of a way to interact with each other and kind of know each other um usually i go to a book swap a huge book swap in july through my local forest preserve actually and they have like this beautiful cabin where they gather all the books that they have collected throughout the year from the community where they no longer wanted those books and so they store them all and then bring them to that cabin for that one day and then the local community goes there for that one day and they choose how many books they want and it's honestly amazing to see the whole community coming together so i definitely recommend this option and if it's safe to do so ask your friends if they have any books that they no longer want and then just choose the time and a place and have fun with it just make sure it's safe during current times and my last option is to consider kindle books or any online book hosting softwares or websites 
I know this is something that will help save a lot of books from being printed on paper, which obviously creates, like I said, a lot of tree waste and environmental waste. So if you want to consider online books, despite not having the same feeling of the book in your hands and the texture of the pages and the scent of the book as well, then make sure to take that into account. This is not a perfect science, but it does help to use online books when you can instead of buying new books from like Barnes and Nobles and from all these bookstores that sell new books. And also, the good thing about online books is that you can have them stored for an unlimited period of time in your Kindle and also it's good to have a whole library that you can share with other people so as long as you give that Kindle to someone else they can have access to those books which is an amazing thing and yeah I think those are really good options for you to consider hopefully you stay safe and healthy and peace and love bye